show you how to scuff a slab to make your boxes. Um, you start with a wedged ball of clay and pound it down. Usually start from the center and work my way out. And I'm flipping so that I'm compressing the clay on both sides. This is very important. If you only smash the clay down on one side, you're going to have um, your, your platelets are not going to align well and it will be more prone to cracking, warping, or um, mostly warping. So the goal is to get it down to about, mm, this is a little bit greater than a quarter of an inch, but not quite a half an inch, probably uh, three-eighths. This is a good thickness, you can go a little bit thinner. I would say anywhere between this measurement and a quarter of an inch is fine. So my slab is about, you know, three quarters of an inch here. And what we're going to do is we are going to scuff the clay. And so to do that is you take the clay and you have this movement where you're, you're pulling the clay and letting go at the same time. It's kind of like the opposite of throwing a frisbee except you're kind of throwing it to you. If you want to have a circle, you want to pick it up from kind of opposite ends. If you want to make something long and narrow, you pick it up like this. And notice that every time I do this, I am switching the side, right? I'm flipping it. Again, compressing those particles. Okay, so I've probably already scuffed it to its thickness. But if you're unsure, you can take these sticks, which are located under the big table, take a rolling pin, and you're letting the rolling pin ride, ride on these rails. And that will ensure that you have a fairly even thickness. If you're much thinner than this, obviously your tool, the, pin, the uh, rolling pin, will not touch that edge, and you will know right away. The next thing you need to do is fully compress your slab by using your serrated rib and ribbing it the entire surface in multiple directions. Again, this is key for compression. It also helps to give you a blank surface rather than the texture of the canvas. In ceramics, leaving the texture of the canvas on the clay is it really is lazy. It's not generally it's not intentional. Um, if it is intentional in your design, then that's fine, and you'll have the opportunity to tell me about that. Okay, so you're going in multiple directions there. Then you follow up with your smooth rib. It's all about how you hold the tool. Okay, you want the tool to flex underneath. I'm not applying a lot of pressure. I'm really allowing, you know, it's got about this much of the tool that's in contact with the clay. And the same thing, you want to go in multiple directions. So if you're like carving it out, you're using the tool in a way that is making it very stiff. It should be very malleable. Once you've done that to one side, you want to go ahead and flip it and do it to the other side. What you want to know, you can see right here about slabs, well as we know, working on the canvas tables, the moisture gets sucked out of the clay, right, as you're working on this table. So it's going to be a, a good thing if you can, you know, the more intuitive and the, the quicker that you can do any of these actions or techniques the less moisture you're going to lose from your material. So the thing about it is, is that you can use that to your advantage. Let's say your clay is really wet. So the clay that I just got out of the mix, out of the um, clay bin is actually pretty soft. And it's going to benefit me to let that, some of that moisture get drawn out. On the other hand, if your design really is really dependent upon super soft clay, you're going to want to work very quickly this process. Any surface really that you put this on is going to pull water from it except plastic. 
So if you if you're finding that you know the amount of time it takes you to rid your clay, rid your slab, um, really is taking out too much moisture. A, you're going to have to work a little bit quicker, and then B, have a board ready with plastic on it so that you can place the slab on the plastic, and that will prevent any further um, water absorption.